What's up guys, Black Wars here and welcome back to another video and today we're back on FIFA 20 for the uh, 11th episode I think of the uh, Leverkusen career mode. In today's episode we will go through uh, the transfer window, uh, not, not, in the not in its entirety, sorry, but a solid three weeks of it. Uh, we'll play against Köln, Hertha Berlin and uh, SC Paderborn, knowing that Paderborn was the first team which played um, this year and we did uh, smash them I think 6-1 or 5-1 let me just uh, remind you of that 6-0 6-0 was the score when we faced Paderborn um, we're gonna take a look at the um, at the uh, table for the Bundesliga because uh, I haven't done I hadn't done that um, well for a long time we're currently leading the Bundesliga with uh, three points clear of Eintracht Frankfurt in second position we are two game in. We have two game in hand. Sorry, over Frankfurt and over basically a lot of team except Hoffenheim, um, Leipzig, and that's it. Dortmund are sixteenth. Okay. Okay. Not great by Dortmund. Um, if you take a look at uh, goal scored and goal conceded, we're the second best defense in the league. Uh, after Frankfurt, 14 goals conceded for us and uh, a solid 44 goals scored, we're by far the best attack Bayern only on uh, 27 points, so 8 points behind us and they have one more game um, one more game than us, so we could potentially be 10 points clear of Bayern Munich uh, by the end of the episode, so uh, that's for the Bundesliga table uh, important transfer market, I don't care uh, let's take a look at the youth squad report. We've only have we only have Finn Gross. We're going to promote him to the senior team. Um, and uh, before we start playing, we're going to go to the transfer hub because we have some players to sell. First of all, we're going to go to not that. We're going to go to the squad hub, and we're going to put some players on the transfer list. Starting with Didi Singraven. Uh, oh, I can't. Oh, transfer list. There we go. Singraven transfer list. Uh, Stanilevich. Can I put him on transfer list? Yeah, I mean he's he's gonna go either way. Uh, and Nadim Amiri. These are the three players I'm willing to sell. Amiri has a 20 million, uh, well, 17.5 mil um, is its value. If I can sell him to like 23, 25, I'll take that. Um, I don't know about Zingraven, maybe like 3, 5. Yeah, 3 to 5, 4.6 for Deli Singraven. Um, and then, uh, then that's it. Then that's it. So these are all the players I am willing to sell. Now, the players I'm going to buy, by far, my main um, priority is Herling Ayland. Um, we're going to try and just a swap deal, first of all, with Timmy Abraham. Don't know how it's going to work. Don't know if it's going to work. Uh, because I'm, I'm clearly going to be, I'm going to try and sell him. Uh, strikers, we're going to go Hayland against Abraham. Is that a good enough deal? Plus 300 grand. Alright, are you sure? Can I not get like... Because I'm getting robbed on the deal, Let, let's be fair. Love that. So one pound plus uh, Abraham. They're okay for Erling Hayland. We're going to try and sign him. Uh, I know it's not the most, um, it's not the smartest deal I have done, but uh, it's a deal I wanted to do and it's a deal a lot of you wanted me to do. Uh, so we're gonna get Erling Braut Heyland. Uh, I don't even know if it's pronounced that way, I'm sorry about that. Uh, if I misspell his name, uh, I apologize. We're going to disregard a release close. 23 million! Uh, I would like to deny that. 25k, 230. Uh, let's try to counter it. To two, 25 bang, bags, why not? And 150 signing bonus. Because it's a bit tight on transfer budget. Okay. Well, I did, don't want to like lower the, the offer. Um, no, well, we've made a signing though. We've made our first new signing of the transfer window. It was a guy I had been looking to get for a long time. Erling Haaland joins the Bundesliga, the, yeah, joined the Bundesliga, and is going to be playing for Bayer Leverkusen. Six point uh, six foot four, nineteen years of age, eighty-two pace, seventy-one shooting, eighty physical. 
we're going to try and make him a star in the Bundesliga. Uh, he's being, uh, well, he's back now with uh, Dominic Soboslai, the two uh, former player of Rasenball Sport, uh, no, Red Bull um, Salzburg. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that. Uh, but yeah, new signing, Erling Haaland. We have a transfer offer for Lars Bender. Uh, now, Lars Bender is my backup right back. Do I want to sell him? Knowing that if I sell him, I have um, Gross on the right hand side, the the new like the the, the young guy, and I could be uh, I could be willing to give him some game time. Uh, let's negotiate the offer. We just we used to like have fifteen mil for Lars Bender. Let's see how much um, West Ham is willing to give me. For 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 this man. If I go seventeen, what would they say? No. Okay. So seventeen is way too much apparently for Bender, uh, which is fine by me. Not exactly willing to sell him. Uh, we've got player chats. Uh, hey boss, I'm surprised, but big like you've taken steps without me having to ask. Uh, I'm just exploring, innit? Zingraven. Uh, I don't want to be a bench warmer. Good. I don't want you to be in the team. Um, and Stanley Levix, you're. I mean, you've got six months left on your contract, and I'm not resigning you. So, yeah, get get, get done with it. Uh, we're gonna play the first game of the episode against Köln. First team. Yeah, first team. It's a rainy day in Köln at the uh, Rhein Energie Stadion. As uh, well, Köln faces Leverkusen for the Rhineland Derby, uh, the biggest rivalry of these two clubs. It's it's gonna be a shit show. It actually is. It's our biggest rivals, and uh, I mean, there's more than just a win on the line. There's a uh, a lot of things going on in a derby because you never play a derby, you win it, and uh, I'm in a very decent position to talk about that as my team. Lost the derby yesterday in real life, but um, but yeah, we we've got the fans in the stadium to win this. Timo Horn is going to be starting for Köln with uh, Kiko Femenia, Skodran Mustafi. I couldn't see the rest. Elias Kirin Verstreter in the middle. Vincent Kozielo and Andrea Zivkovic. Anthony Modest and Angel. It's a very solid team. Who's that? Two uh, Chikos and Subiec on the bench. Kessler, Ezibue, Schaub. It's a very decent team uh, by Köln. Uh, I play with the uh, uh, alternate kit, I think. It's my kit on the, on the ultimate team. It's a very, very nice kit. Uh, our team, though, with Jonas Radecki starting. Mitchell Weiser, Jonathan Ta, Tilo Kerrer, Vendol, Charles Aranguiz, Terem Demirbay, Leon Bailey, Kai Havertz, and Steven Bergwijn. With Kevin Volant starting uh, as the captain and main leader of the offense, Erling Haaland makes his appearance on the bench as we face Köln in, uh, once again, the Rhineland Derby. The match begins and uh, it's 90 minutes of uh, an intense fight that will await um, both teams today. As I mentioned, it's more than just a game here. It's it's a people that you're trying, to, you're not trying to win this for the, the, the league table, but for your people, for the fans, for the ability to say for an entire year that, you're, well, that the team is better than the other and trust me for a football fan there's no better feeling Leon Bailey they're trying to make it 1-0 already maybe uh, Leon Bailey I've pushed the ball a bit too much and it's going to be a corner nonetheless seven minutes into the game Serem Demabai looking for the header maybe a Steven Bergwijn is going to be another corner for Leverkusen um, maybe a bit further down this time in the box for Bergwijn cleared by Timo Horn and uh, the danger is still here. Aranguiz, the strike by Aranguiz, the strike by Aranguiz, and Leverkusen takes the lead against Köln. Ten minutes into the game, love that one 0 for Leverkusen. What a finish! What a finish! The uh, the finesse on the right foot of the the Chilean midfielder, who just renewed his contract with Leverkusen, bouncing in uh, well on the post. And in the goal, Leverkusen takes the lead in the Rhineland derby. Kai Havertz intercepting the ball, playing uh, Kevin Volant. Volant against Kodran Mustafi. 
And it's a, a solid defending and it's an even better pass by Shkodran Mustafi looking for Zivkovic. Zivkovic in the box, the cross cleared by Tilo Kera, but uh, the danger was lurking around, uh, around our box. We might be uh, looking at a counter-attack here with, um, with Leon Bailey against Kiko Femenia. Bailey is going to cut inside. Can I find a pass here? No, I cannot. Anthony Modest with Angel. Angel, big save by Jonas Radecki. Uh, defensively speaking, it was actually not bad. Not bad. But it's a corner for, um, for Köln. And that was one of the worst corners I've seen um, by Andrei Zivkovic. Counter attack maybe on the way with Vendel. Um, Anthony Modest defending. Not something I'd expect to see by uh, the French striker. And um, we're just having a slow attack here with uh, Kevin Volant, who saw the, uh, the run of Leon Bailey. The cross by Leon Bailey. The fuck was that? Uh, appalling, de abysmal defending. Everything was shit. Including, uh, uh, and thankfully, Köln's cross. It's not being the best game of football. Uh, it's it's not even the best derby. Uh, there's no intention, like, nothing's happening. No bad tackles. Uh, just me defending like an absolute pleb. And uh, Köln getting corners. That's, yeah, that's basically what's going on right now. But, um, I mean, we're still leading. Which, I guess, is is the main thing to, uh, to keep in mind in this first half. We're going to be uh, approaching half time now in uh, well, wait, two minutes. And uh, unless we can score, we will go back to the locker room in, uh, in the lead of this fixture. Steven Bergwijn though, trying maybe to uh, increase the gap by, uh, by plus one just before half time. And Kai Havertz slots it just right to the post. Sadly, doesn't go in. And the referee blows his whistle. 1-0 for Leverkusen in the Rheinland derby. Köln um, on the pressure, but not dead. Uh, defensive, I, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't. <laughs> oh my god. What's going on in this game? I panicked. So I, I left my defending position with Thilo Kehrer. Then I literally left the goals with Jonas Radeke. And somehow, I think it was Anthony Modest. His chip was just so bad. That it went wide. How do you miss that? Yeah, they're, they're going to be like kicking their feet. Uh, is that an expression? I don't know. Uh, but they're, they're going to be pissed if they don't win this game or at least don't bring the points. Because there's definitely way for them, like, there's definitely room to, for them to score. Bailey, though. Bailey doesn't miss much, this lad. He, he fully does. That, yeah, proven by that. Just under a half an hour to go, uh, and uh, I mean we've gone with the exact same um, playing style as the first half. We're not doing a lot. Uh, they're doing much better than me, but they can't. They can't finish. And so for fuck's sake, so can't. So can't we? Why? That's now what my my third blatant miss. Uh, Bailey did one. I think that's Havertz's second. I'm scared that we might regret this at one point. Um, as long as we're winning the game, I'm calm with like losing, not missing chances. But uh, I mean, we're the best attack of the Bundesliga for a reason. We can't try, we can't start to like scuff literally every chance we've got. Modest, Modest. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, I love this game so much. The shit houseery is unreal. I don't know how they haven't. I I literally do not know how they haven't scored. Like. Everything is going their way, except the finish. They're getting every counter, every good pass, everything is clearly well done. But the finishing is abysmal for uh, for Köln. Um, I mean, it's abysmal for us as well. But uh, we're the one leading, so, so it's a bit easier for us. Just five minutes to go. We're going to try and make some substitutions as soon as uh, the ball goes out of play. Maybe... Uh, Maybe a goal would make it uh, a worthwhile ball going out of play. Oh my god. Every oh my god. It's going to be a corner though. And it's going to be Erling Haaland's first appearance under a Leverkus Leverkusen shirt. Uh, probably won't be enough for him to score as he's going to have like two minutes. Um, but you never know. You never know. Uh, it could set up 
uh, one of like the fastest debut goal uh, in someone's career. Jonathan Ta, Dominic Sebosly for Erling Haaland. He's on side. He's a left-footed player. Destroyed by Erling Haaland. I said he was not going to score. I stand corrected. 2-0 oh, for Leverkusen. The assist by Dominic Sebosly. The goal by Erling Haaland. Love that. Love that. Everything was well done and the connection between the two uh, former Red Bull, Leip um, Red Bull Salzburg players. There we go. Erling Braut Haaland. Two minutes, one shot and one goal for the Norwegian star. And that's it. That's it. Leverkusen wins the Rhineland Derby. Uh, I mean, we're, we're out there. We're doing bits. We are scoring for fun. Uh, I'm not gonna lie though, it's... I, I don't know how we won that. <laughs> I don't know how we won that. We we don't deserve it. We truly don't deserve that. I mean, we deserve the win. But a clean sheet, a clean sheet out of all the games, I would have expected that game to be one of the least possible, especially seeing like the match facts. They've had seven shots, five on targets. We've had three. But we want to know. Um. <laughs> no. Uh. Okay. So you, you. Um. Long story short, United has paid the 90 million release clause for Kai Havertz. Yep. Yep. You've heard that correctly. <laughs> so we're gonna go to uh, Cam. Havertz. Contract negotiation. Let's. Let's make this an untradeable uh, player. Oh. Yes, crucial role uh, of that, of course. Five years, yes, Kai, go on. You're my best player by far. Uh, disregard release close. There we go. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling generous today. 100 grand a week. Signing bonus. 500 bags. Is that good enough? Yes, brilliant. Love that. Fuck you, United. Fuck you. You're never getting him for set for like 87 million. Who do, you th who do you think you are? You're nothing. You can't even beat like Newcastle in the Premier League. Uh, August Nissen, what's he said? You want to play? Uh, yeah, sure. I will play Ludwig, uh, Ludwig August Nissen. And I'm pretty sure the game is today, actually. It is. Home game against Hertha Berlin. Second team today. First appearance as a starter for Erling Haaland. And hopefully an e a performance as good as his, um, as his debut. It's a home game at the Bay Arena. Uh, the final game of the first half of the season as we face Hertha Berlin for the 17th match day of the Bundesliga. Uh, the two last games at home have been, um, well, Disappointing, uh, I think is one word to uh, to describe them. But um, we've got a brand new man today on the pitch, Erling Haaland, Erling Haaland, sorry, and uh, we're going to see what this man is made of. Starting for Leverkusen, Ramazan Özcan, Lars Bender, Panoitis Retso, Stine Yedvai, Ludwig Augustinsson, Arne Maia, Sven Bender, Moussa Diaby, Dominic Soboslai, Paulinho, and Erling Braut Haaland, replacing Timmy Abraham, gone in Austria, Hadeki Weiser, Demir Bay, Kerrer, and all them lot on the bench. But uh, mainly what people will be looking for today is how Haaland performs against a team in the Bundesliga as a starter. Erta Berlin starts with Jarstein in the goals. Klünter, Boyata, Niklas Stark, Tonura Riga, Leki, Darida, Grujic, Dardai, Duda, and the main striker is going to be Felix Boré. Uh, form of Sorak of River Plate or River Plate, sorry. Kraft, Coleman, Balanta, Luke Bakio on the bench. It's a strong team, it's a strong bench. Uh, it's weaker than me. The question is, am I weaker than them? Maya, Haaland for Dominic Subosly. Dominic Subosly, destroyed by Subosly. Oh, and it hits the crossbar and bounces off. Um, decent movement though. Again, uh, the connection between the two former players of Salzburg uh, working a treat here. Zobosly is going to find Paulinho on uh, the edge of the box. 
Paulinho, what can he do with the ball? For now, absolutely nothing. You can pass it back to Arne Meyer. Sven Bender, Dominic Zuberslai. Dominic Zuberslai for Erling Haaland. And uh, we're going to lose the ball to, uh, due to a strong defending showcase by Berlin. Uh, Hertha Berlin in fourth place of the Bundesliga. Uh, doing much better than uh, what uh, people hope or well, were th thinking about them. That's not English and I don't care. So it's like there is a gap for Haaland. Can Haaland do anything with the ball now? Yes, he can. He's going to find Arnemeyer. Destroyed by Arnemeyer. Uh, it's not a dangerous strike at all as he doesn't even reach the goal. Um, but for now, we're, we've got... We've got possession. Uh, we're we're turning the ball around um, quite nicely, trying to uh, find some openings here and there, instead of just like running in the box, uh, doing a fake turn or like something like that. We're trying to uh, actually produce quality, quality football, and that comes uh, with some good passing skills. Anemaya, there is a goal. There is a gap. Sorry for Paulinho, and I didn't need to do the roulette because I had made myself enough space to uh, to go for the shot. Um, but it's going to be a throw-in for us with Panayosis Retsos, Sven Bender. We're going to try and find maybe a gap here with Arne Meyer, Erling, uh, Erling Haaland, Dominic Soboslai. Soboslai cuts inside. Dominic Soboslai, Bender, big save by, uh, by whoever's goalkeeper this is. But impressive save, uh, I, I do have to say by um, Hertha Berlin's goalkeeper. It's not Thomas Kraft because he's on the bench. Uh, but I don't know who their goalkeeper is today. Or Haaland, I still don't know. Arne Meyer, destroyed by Arne Meyer, Cleared by the defense. Um, well, first blocked, then cleared. Throw in for Leverkusen though, just before halftime. The time where I usually strike a lot. Uh, can Subosli keep the ball? No, he cannot. Uh, two minutes of added time. One minute already gone, the referee is going to blow his whistle any second soon. What a ball for Matthew Lecky. Can Ramaz and Ustran get there first? And uh, it, it's been a scary moment, but um, we've managed to uh, come out of that unscathed. Nil-nil at halftime between Leverkusen and Hertha Berlin. We've had the better chances by far, uh, but the scoreline is still virgin. Okay, Ramaz and Ustran just literally saved the day. Because I was persuaded that it was offside, so I didn't defend. Uh, I mean, thank you, Ramazan, for, for being uh, very vigilant, more than I am, by the looks of it. Um, back to back corners, though, for Hertha Berlin. And that is, uh, that is one shit corner. Dominic Soboslai can easily clear the danger out of it. Uh, danger? <laughs> Why am, where am I American for a second? I don't know. Onemaya, yes, come on, come on, come on, Jabi, you're onside. Musa, you're on side. Oh, you're not. You're not. That's a shame. Super Sly. Super Sly for Erling Haaland. I would have liked to have another run by Super Sly here, uh, which I didn't get, sadly. Still Super Sly. Haaland. Haaland! Oh, it's off the post. It's sadly off the post for Erling Haaland. It could have been two goals in two games, his first goal as a starter for Leverkusen, but it's not going to be quite now. Dominic Super Sly. Can he get on the ball? Yes, he can, uh, but it's a, it's a very bad header, a very poor header by the Hungarian. We've got a very, like, um, odd attack. Well, not odd, but we've, we're a German side, and the four forwards are French, Brazilian, Hungarian, Norwegian. And it might work. Dominic Soboslai. Soboslai. 1-0 for Leverkusen. Dominic Soboslai makes it. Uh, yeah, 1-0. As I just mentioned, um, the uh, Hungarian-Norwegian connection working a treat here. The overlap pass by, um, by Erling Haaland. And the finish by Subosly. Haaland had just hit the post. Subosly hit the post in the first half. But uh, he doesn't... Well, he just always, always shoots and um, he always scores. Eighth goal this season. For, eighth goal, sorry, this season for Dominic Soboslai. His second only in the Bundesliga. Uh, but this man is just way too good for uh, for anyone's boots. Soboslai, Moussa Diaby. Moussa Diaby. Still Moussa Diaby. The cross for Soboslai. I should have passed that back. I, I should have passed that. I should have passed that. 
it's a shame. Uh, could easily have been 2-0 and a uh, game wrapped up, but not yet. Not quite at least. With uh, Arne Meyer on the ball. Dominic Zoboslai. He's causing a lot of problem to, uh, to Berlin's defense here. What a brilliant touch by Ramazan Özcan. Dortmund just equalized against Leipzig uh, in a, a clash you would expect for like European positions. But Dortmund is fighting uh, to stay in the Bundesliga at this rate despite having Marcus Rashford and Marco Reus. That's, that's just FIFA for you. Haaland strike deflected just under 10 minutes ago. And uh, we are 1-0 up. Berth uh, Berlin had the ball for quite a while now. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good thing they missed their cross because I thought that was uh, gonna, gonna be like the usual AI get the ball, passes it around for like 17 minutes, you can't catch them and they score because they're Barcelona. Uh, well, turns out they're still at Berlin and uh, we might be on the counter-attack here. Moussa Diaby, one of the final chances in this game for the Frenchman. The cross for Haaland and it's, uh, well, it's, it's an abysmal cross. And it's the end of the game though, 1-0 score, uh, the, well, the lowest possible score for Leverkusen, but uh, still a win. We'll take that. Um, okay, Chelsea just paid the, uh, well no, just offered um, 54 million to get Jonathan Tower going to reject the offer, he's not for sale, uh, for sale, sorry. However, I'm not getting any offers for Nadim Amiri or Daily Zingraven, which kind of pisses me off because I want to sell them uh, and I mean if there's no offers I can't get money if I can't get money I can't sign anyone that's that's how football works now um, so yeah no no ideal maybe another transfer offer here Valencia still Jonathan Tarr my man he's not for word I just said I, I just told you not to buy him so why do you bother um, I don't think we're gonna get any offer before the game against Paderborn Eta Berlin, 11 million for Vendel. Uh, no, once again, you can fuck off. Thank you. Uh, Daily Singraven, if you want him, he's for sale. No? Okay. Well, away game against Paderborn. Let's go. It's Paderborn against Leverkusen. For those who were there for the start of the career mode, you know what that means. The last time these two teams faced each other, the outcome was just... Uh, slightly in favor of a team, um, the team that plays in red, and it was 6 0 for Leverkusen. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got what it takes to beat Paderborn again. We're literally bad memories for uh, for them. Paderborn 0 uh, 7 against Bayern Ulfia. Let's go. Ratashtzak starts for Paderborn with Jans van der Horn, Strodik and Banku in the middle. In the defense, sorry. Prüger, Giasula, Wasey, Oliver Asuza in the middle. And Zelensky Mamba will be the two strikers for Paderborn today. Uh, yep. Yeah, not, not great in it. Leverkusen though. Jonas Radegri, Mitchell Weiser, Jonathan Ta, Thilo Kerrer, Wendel, Charles Aranguiz, Therion Demirbay, Kevin Vola, um, Leon Bailey, Kai Havertz, Steven Bergwijn. Kevin Volant, you know the lineup, you know the drill, you know that we win. Aranguiz, Leon Bailey on the left hand side of the pitch. Leon Bailey back for Aranguiz. What the fuck have I done? I don't know. I, I panicked. <laughs> I panicked. Could have been 1 0 though, but, uh, but no. Because I, I panicked. Oh, oh, Kai Havertz. Oh, Kai Havertz. Oh, Kai Havertz. Oh. Kai Havertz. oh Kai Havertz, what a man, what a legend, and what a goal. I mean, it's a shame you can't see like the, the first dribble because he just cleared so much pace by like getting past one guy and the finish on the right foot is absolutely brilliant by Kai Havertz. Love that, well done, 1-0. It starts like it started less than three months less than four months ago sorry should i say for paderborn um a lot of bad memories are coming back in the mind of some players and uh i mean unless they score now which they very much could no we're there the defense is solid um 
It could easily, easily become a, well, a murder once again. Volant for Leon Bailey. Nope. Weiser. What a ball. What a ball for Bergwijn. He's onside. He's very well onside. Weiser, uh, Bergwijn, sorry. He's missed. He's missed that. It's not finished. It's not finished. It's near finished, but it's not finished quite yet. Now it's finished. Fuck. Steven Bergwijn. Cuts inside. Looking for a run of uh, maybe Kevin Volant. But uh, the pass of uh, for, by the captain is uh, isn't good enough. I've been mugged. I've been mugged. I've been... Yep, they played me. They played me. I mean, I was expecting a shot here or a pass to the second guy, but not him. I didn't see him coming. And it's uh, it's an equalizer by Prüger. It's not going to be an episode with three clean sheets, which is disappointing. Uh, but let's make sure that it's an episode with three wins. Because that's what matters. Can we maybe score now? We were looking at a, a goal maybe, but no. Cleared away by uh, Rataisak. Demir by Kevin Volant. Volant for Leon Bailey. 2-1. 2-1 goal for Leon Bailey. Leverkusen takes the lead once again. Um, even if it might have been a bit complicated. Um, I mean, we're there for a reason. We're in the lead for a reason. Nice, nicely played there. The assist by uh, Kevin Voland through uh, number 28 and number 23. Creating a lot of space for Leon Bailey to uh, take his time and uh, adjust the goalkeeper in the way that he wanted. It's, uh, yeah, it's 2-1 for us. Maybe looking at a, at a bit more now. Kevin Voland. Why didn't I just take a shot? Why didn't I not just take a shot? Kevin Voland with a uh, Terem Demirbay. Aranguis, Kai Havertz, the strike by Havertz, and that is one shit shot. 2 1 at half time. Um, we could be leading by much more than just a goal. Prüger, Prüger, he scored for uh, Padabon already. Can they score again? And that is one foul on uh, on Jonas Radeki. Alright, we're not going to mention that. Alright, cheers, ref. Love that. I've been assaulted by uh, Peter Shek's lookalike. But uh, the referee uh, isn't saying anything. Absolutely rigged. And uh, Peach Sex lookalike has scored, well, nearly scored, uh, which would have been very, uh, very sad for me. Substitution for Paderborn with uh, Collins coming off instead of, uh, coming on, sorry, instead of Jans. Hadeki looking for a, a pass down the line with Bergwijn. And thank God for Paderborn that Oliveira Souza was there. We're, we're being very, uh, very, very under pressure here. Paderborn trying and giving in, uh, giving all they have uh, to try and find an equalizer. Something they are not doing right now, but they could very well do it, which is why we need to make it short to make sure that we can score um, a third goal, just to like have a safety cushion in in case of a goal by Paderborn. Still no substitutions on my side. Uh, I'm thinking about making one as soon as uh, there will be uh, the time to. But if I keep making this kind of mistake, I'm never gonna have a goal or some added time. Volant for Arne Meyer. Arne Meyer who just came on. That's a pen. Yes, of course it's a pen. It's a penalty at the 90th minute. Fell by the captain. Um, I think it's Sean Lau. Uh, Sebastian Sean Lau. Yellow card for the captain and penalty at the 90th minute. It's gonna be Kevin Volant to take it. I'm going to try and uh, play it calm and collected. Top left corner. Not where I wanted the ball to go. But, um, well, not exactly where I wanted it to go, but where I wanted it to go. In the goal, 3-1 for Leverkusen. Game wrapped up for us. And the referee should blow his whistle. There he is. Whistle blown by the ref as Leverkusen wins this game 3-1 against Paderborn. It hasn't been as much as... The it hasn't been uh, yeah, as much of a convincing win as the first leg was. Um, but a goal, a win is a win. And we come home with three points. Wait, I'm just seeing something because I'm uh, like putting the assists and the goals on my score sheet. Uh, Arne Meyer got an assist 
by being fouled. Since when do penalties count as an assist? I know they do in FPL, but I didn't know they did. They they were doing that on FIFA. So Arnemaya got an assist by being fouled. All right, um, we're gonna try and make a final signing. Uh, I know some of you wanted me to get Zunderberger, so I don't have enough money to buy him. However, as I said, I don't need Nadi Mamiri. So we're gonna try and see what they would like. They want Amiri plus 8 million. Knowing that they've accepted a bid of, well, there was a bid from Frankfurt, about 19.8, if I'm correct. So let's say I give him 3 million. 3 million plus Nadi Mamiri. Would they be inclined to sign him? 4.5 and a 20% sell on close. Right, new transfer fee, we're going to go with uh, 4 million plus 20%. Are they okay with that? No. Alright, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with um, this transfer, 4.5 million plus Nadi Mamiri. I mean, I'm never going to use Amiri. Uh, I will use Zanderberger in the second team, which means Bender is gone as well. That's one thing we need to clear up to, to like, get done and dusted. Sven Benda is not going to be playing for us anymore. Well, I mean, not this year. Uh, we're going to have a four-year contract for Zanderberger. Love that. No release close. They want a 36 million. We're going to re deny the release close. I'm hoping it's not too bad. It doesn't look like it is. All right. Um, he's currently on 14 grand. We're going to give him 26... We're going to give him 29, actually. We're going to double his wage. And 200,000 as a signing bonus. I don't know if that's good enough. I, I do not know if this would be good enough to get Sanderberger in the team. Uh, come on. Say something. Okay, it's not that bad. 30 grand to uh, 300,000. Six. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We have ourselves a second signing in this video. Uh, and he's going to be joining the second team alongside his um, uh, Norwegian teammate. Joining Bayer Leverkusen is 21-year-old Norwegian center defensive mid Zander Berger. 6 foot 5, can play center defensive mid or center mid. Very solid stats all around. 87 physical which will be crucial next to uh, Arne Meyer, who's a bit weaker than, uh, well, than him. But uh, a young, very young partner. Both are 21 years old. Uh, Subosla is 19, Diaby is 20, Paulina is 19, Halen is 19. This team is so young, it's unbelievable. The, the, older, the elder player, obviously, is uh, the oldest player, sorry, is Ramazan at uh, 35, then Bender, 30, and then there's no one on 25. Um, which just says a lot about... Um, about our team. Well, great signing to end up the episode. Um, I'm gonna put Sven Bender on the transfer list. Uh, it sucks because he's the captain. Well, I mean, he's he's technically the captain of the team, and I feel bad by putting him on the transfer market. But if I can grab like I don't know, 10 mil for him, uh, that'd be nice. That would be very nice. We're gonna uh, go forward a few days um, until the next match, and then we'll uh, we'll wrap the episode. Uh, we've got training to do as well. Three days left. Let's do that quickly. Simulate all the drills. Uh, no progression for Gross or Sebastian or having Island or Paulinho. And by the looks of it, no offers for Dylan Zingraven or Sven Bender. Oh, actually, Liverpool. Okay, let's not mess this up, right? <laughs> Liverpool have they have money, but Bender is on the transfer list, and I'd rather take fifty, well, thirteen million than zero euros. Well, all right, all right, Jurgen, you're a nice lad. I I love you. We we support Liverpool. Stop made the offer. Come on, thirteen point five. I beg, Jurgen, don't say no. Jürgen, mate, I beg. Nah, big man, allow it. Well, he said no. 
Okay. Well, I'm hoping I'm going to get another offer for Bender. Otherwise, I'm very sad. Um, but that will be for the next episode of the Bio Leverkusen career mode. If you've enjoyed this one, then please leave a like down below on your screen. As always, Hall of Fame screen. Um, Kevin Volan is starting to take a lot of positions now on this uh, on this uh, screen. I mean, he's got top assists, most man of the match, uh, most goals. Player of the episode. Yep, it looks like we might be looking at our, the player of the season right now. It probably won't be Kavitz if it stays this way. Uh, but if you want to see what happens in the future episode, then please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I shall see you in the near future. I've been Blackwell. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. What the mother man need feeding? I don't want to go bomb Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. I'll stop a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.